No stand. Good job. Scoop tire. Need to change the one of these tires. And we ain't got no stand. Time for some lunch. Some uh, tortellini or pasta or tortellini, I think. I think it's called. But yeah, we are here in Pista Serle. Going to do some riding today. Uh, Mantua is going to be like a hard sand race, not like deep sand, but a little bit hard packed sand. But uh, anyway, we are in Italy, so we need to go to some of the epic hard pack tracks. I know how to ride in the sand, so yeah, don't need too much of that. Was at Mantua, Mantua yesterday, but didn't film anything. But today, going to the hard pack, and then I think. Until the month of a GP, we are going to just practice in the sand after this day. So, uh, yeah, today is Thursday and uh, soon ready to go for some riding here in this amazing place. So, first just going to eat a little bit. Yeah, my dad, getting everything ready, the bike ready. We are good to go soon, I think. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> we find some solution to not having a stand. <laughs> so, I'm all changed, ready to go for some riding. First off, some training, and then, uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.
So I have done training and then two times 15 minutes. I was supposed to do 20 minutes, but after the first one, like 50 minutes into it, uh, I got dizzy. So I don't know what it is, but then we changed the plan to three times 15 instead. So I think it's because it's so many short bumps here and so much like small hits to the head and I'm a little bit stiff in the neck that uh, yeah after like 15 17 minutes I get a little bit dizzy but yeah it felt already better and better in the second one and now I'm going out for the third third 15 minute moto 15 plus 2 and yeah it's going better and better and uh, yeah you can see that the Italian hard pack is taking its toll on the wheel it's starting to become a slick tire now so it's getting faster and faster actually, so I, I don't know if it's me that is getting more comfortable or the tire that suits the track a bit more. I don't know, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, you can see that it's really gone. So after the last one now, it's probably going to be slicks. But <laughs> I don't think you need any, any, what should I call them, knobs for, for the hard pack here. It's not really necessary. But yeah, the track is awesome, like it's got so good flow, but once you get out of the main line, you're more or less dead. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. But in the main line, like the layout of the track and flow and everything, it's really cool. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't step out of the main line. But yeah, let's do the third, ter ter third motor now.
so done for the day now so tired but uh, yeah it was a good day in the end all of a sudden I was riding like one and a half two seconds faster than I did all the day so I don't know what happened there I was riding like my best was 40.6 or something in the first two motos and then in the middle of this moto all of a sudden I was 38 like what happened now but uh, yeah, I just had a better feeling all over the track and also the sun went a little bit more down uh, of the hill so I didn't get any sun in my eyes it was like too low so all the it was shadows everywhere so then I see a little bit clearer instead of a little bit shadows a little bit sun then it's difficult to spot the ruts and stuff so I was a lot more confident now not really ruts it's no ruts here I mean like the small bumps and the tiny tiny ruts but yeah, all of a sudden, but just went full send in the end there. Last five laps, I think, all was 38, so it was really good. But yeah, that, with this tire, look at it now. Like, it's completely gone. Like, it's, it's, it's gone. It's not a, it's not a MX tire anymore. You can do, use it for road racing. But yeah, the Maxxis tire is great to use, but... Uh, I think it's no tire that would survive this track and the Maxxis tire survived all day and also I didn't feel too bad in the end so yeah really good tire on the hard pack and like it gives me confidence when I put the bike in the ruts and stuff so yeah it's nothing about the tire it's about the track it's so hard rocky like it demolishes the tire so yeah we need to put on a new one for uh, this weekend when we are riding I guess because that one is going to the rubbish but yeah Mia it was a good day or yes it was a good day that's good good to hear ah <sighs> so now just going to take all all of my clothes off maybe go to a camping or something I don't know what the plan is go for a small bike ride or whatever maybe this evening tomorrow rest day going for some cycling just some easy stuff and then Saturday Sunday will be like two hard days and then uh, yeah next will, week will be a little bit easier again before race week not the next week but the week after so in preparation for race week I'm going to have an easy week next week next week I'm going to ride like three days or so but nothing too much but yeah, now it's time to relax before Saturday, Sunday for some really hard days, two hard days in the sand. Need to practice a little bit in sand as well. And uh, yeah, I will see you then. Thanks to all my channel sponsors and huge shout out to Minus Wool for becoming a huge supporter or mega supporter. Yeah, the biggest tier of the membership. So. Thanks to him and uh, yeah, thanks to everyone else that is members on the channel and also thanks to everyone that is watching the video. So like and subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one.